Dr. Vipin, what is cervical cancer? For my cervical cancer, we should know what is cancer. Anybody developing uncontrolled growth of the cells in any part of the body is cancer. Same process if it's happened in cervix, which is the part of uterus and cervix both included, female genital tract, it is called cervical cancer. So what would the symptoms be? What should someone look out for? Cervical cancer is the most common cancer in female in India. So everybody should know what are the symptoms of cervical cancer. Most common symptom is bleeding. Bleeding can be postpartum bleeding after an act of sexual intercourse or it can happen continuous also. Second, they can present with pain abdomen which will be referred to the back. Third, pain in the abdomen which will be associated with vomiting, loss of weight or loss of appetite. But the most common symptom is bleeding per vagina. So is that how you also diagnose when they come in with those symptoms or? When patient comes with these symptoms of bleeding or pain, first we do clinical examination. Where? We do speculum examination to see if there is any lesion or any growth in the cervix. If there is any lesion or growth in the cervix, we take biopsy to prove. And once we prove it is a cancer, then we do staging workup. Staging workup is to know where the cancer has spread. Whether it is confined to the cervix or spread to other part of the abdomen or spread to distant organs like lung, liver, bone or brain. And so how do you treat the patient? Treatment depends on the stage when you have presented to the doctor. In stage 1 or 2a, the treatment is surgery where we do radical surgery, remove the affected part of the uterus and cervix along with the lymph node. In stage 2b and 3, we give chemotherapy and radiation to cure. Stage 4, we cannot cure the patient because already it has spread to other part of the body. We give only chemotherapy to control the disease. So, stage 1 to 3, I can cure by chemotherapy, by radiation, surgery and chemotherapy. In stage 4, I can only control the disease. So, I urge all the viewers to present to the doctor in early stage where I can give maximum cure chances because as I told, stage 4, cure is not possible. And then, then that's uh, how people will prevent this through a... Yes. Happen. Prevention of cervical cancer is definitely possible and today morning I got a notice from government he is promoting vaccination against cervical cancer. So the main risk factor for cervical cancer is human papilloma virus which is a type of virus which causes mutation in the mucosa of the cervix to cause cancer. And to prevent this cancer we have to have vaccination against human papilloma virus and maintain good hygiene. Hygiene definitely it has improved in India over the last 20 years but vaccination has not picked up. So government has taken initiative to vaccine to bring awareness about vaccine against cervical cancer. So I urge all the female before the age of 18 years to take human papilloma virus vaccine which is given to prevent cervical cancer. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.